So this is the spot we got. We got hit tracks. Those things are fun, especially when Eric Sim uh, hits a ball that he thinks is a homer and it's not. I get to laugh at him, it's, it's great. Good morning vlog. I am on the way to throw live at bats. This will be the first time that I am outside in cleats on a dirt mound in like 10 months. So I'm gonna go down to a high school, got some hitters, got a catcher. We got Tim with me. How's it Hello. going, Tim? He's gonna be down there uh, just watching, I guess. What are you? What are you doing down there? I just figure I'd chase any balls that got tipped or fouled or you know I figured no 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 hits today so yep. I'm assuming yep. that uh, I'll be just standing behind the back to the backstop and catching those yeah so he's gonna be my cheerleader or boo me if I suck which I probably will so yeah we're gonna do that and see what we get all right we're out here at Mountain Point High School shout out to them for letting us use the field beautiful field got it all set up I put my cleats on get warmed up and get to it Okay, so normally I would sit in the hot tub first and then foam roll, but I don't have any of that today. So I have to do a little bit more of an active warm up. First things first, get the heart rate up and then we'll do some stuff on the, on the ground, some uh, hip activation and then get into our wrist weights, weighted balls and uh, shoulder tube and then play catch and then throw. Um, but the whole point of this right here is just get the heart rate up. Hamstrings are uh, really tight today. That's all to make sure that uh, everything's kind of moving correctly. Warm everything up. So I'm trying to simulate the game as much as possible. After weighted balls, I would uh, put my uniform on and everything and then go out to the field, do shoulder tube. So I'm gonna get that and then uh, play some catch. Just finished up live ABs, five innings pitch, did really well until like what I thought was gonna be my last pitch of the day. It's 0-2 count and I uh, decided to throw a change up to a righty and it got absolutely nuked. How'd that feel? Felt really good. How far do you think that ball went? It barely cleared the fence. Ah, it was, I mean, it was it gone was by a good, it was, it, was like, it was touched. It was like 10 or 20 feet over the fence. Okay. It, was, it wasn't like a wall scraper. It, was, it felt pretty good. Yeah, you got two today, right? No, nah, just one. Just oh, one? I did get you two. Did get two. One off, yeah. yeah, one off half two. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's two bombs in it. How many at bats? Five, five or six. Seven. Hey, man, that's a good day. Yeah. Two tanks, five or six abs. Wow. Take that any day. Uh, so all total, I went five innings. I don't know how many punched out, but I walked two and gave up two nukes. But uh, overall, pretty good day for how I was feeling. And that's all. That was live abs. As if I wasn't tired enough from live ABs, we have some overcoming eccentrics today. So we're gonna roll through a uh, rear foot elevated split squat, 15 seconds all the way to the bottom on all these, uh, incline row, a push up variation, a pal off press variation, and a bicep variation. So my body's gonna be absolutely torched tomorrow, but yeah, that's what we got for workout today. Well, good morning. Uh, it's travel day. Chalupa and I are off to DC to meet with lawyers the next week. But uh, yeah, that's the plan today. Fly cross country to DC. Where are you going? Uh, okay, made it to DC. Josh Norman was on our flight, sitting right next to Rachel. Did you make a new friend? I made a new friend. So. 
I got to sit uh, back with the peasants and Rachel was upgraded to, uh, what is it, first class with, with Josh, so that was that was cool. Yeah, uh, he asked me, he's like, because you're up here, he's like, your client's in the back. He's like, yes, but my client flies chartered all the time, so he doesn't have the points like me. It's like, respect. <laughs> back with the peasants. That's where I belong. I think we walked by, is this for, I don't know. We're going out here. Good morning vlog. I'm about to head off to sit in a room all day with uh, lawyers, but uh, yeah, not gonna film that. I'll catch up with you later. Well, it is 6.20. Uh, so a long day. I'm now on my way to go get some throwing in and then get some food. Uh, so that's the plan for the night. Grab my glove, some weighted balls, and go throw, and then we'll see where the rest of the night takes us. Ooh. All right, well, we found a uh, field, a grass field, right by the White House. There it is. So we're just gonna do the most American thing possible, which is play catch in front of the White House. If a bald eagle flies over us, even better. Getting back to the hotel from throwing, and next up, I need to get some food. Uh, I got a little bit of daylight left, so I'm gonna go figure out a place to eat. And then uh, I gotta check in on my F1 fantasy team. Things are starting to heat up. Gotta make some moves. So this is the fantasy team as of right now. We got, let's see if you can see this. We got Kevin Magnuson, Carlos Sainz, Sergio Perez, Esteban Ocon, Charles Leclerc, and Haas. Now, this is just midweek fantasy team. I'm riding the wave as these guys go up in value. I got a little bit of a dilemma in that right now though because Haas is like almost going up in value. I don't want them for race weekend, but they're like 77% to increasing in value. Who I do want for race weekend is Ferrari. They're like 74% an increase in value. I don't know when to switch them out. I really want that 0.1 increase for Haas, but uh, Ferrari is growing at a faster rate, so I want to get them. I don't want to miss out on that increase. So yeah, I'm living the fantasy life uh, for F1. Okay, so uh, all lawyer stuff is done at seven o'clock at night. It's raining outside. I need to throw, so uh, meet up with Tim. And uh, since it's raining, we can't throw outside, so I'm gonna drive about half an hour to uh, an indoor facility or something. So Chalupa's coming along. Darcy. <laughs> Rachel in a car seat? Absolutely. <laughs> that was, seems like a very comfortable. Would you be... fit in a car seat? It's it's close. No, but I was supposed to be in a booster seat like through middle school based on my weight, and I ref I told my parents like, hell no, am I showing up in the carpool line in middle school in a booster seat? I mean, that'd yeah. be content. <laughs> Not for middle school, Rachel. Rachel Luba in a car seat. Let's vlog it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the spot we got. Looks like some indoor cages, indoor mounds. We got hit tracks? We do have hit tracks. Let's go. Shout out to hit tracks. Those things are fun. Especially when Eric Sim uh, hits a ball that he thinks is a homer and it's not. I get to laugh at him. It's, it's great. So I open up this bucket to use the lid for a knee pad. And what do I find? Clean Fuego. What shirt do you have on? We, we don't like matching. That's a great shirt. It's a great shirt. You should get yourself one. TrevorBauer.com. Get yourself a shirt. Nice quick day of training here. You want to tell us where it here is and what you guys are about? Sure. We're here out in Reston, Virginia. Bradley Baseball Academia. Run travel teams, ages 13U to showcase level. Building a good community out here to get some kids good at baseball and hopefully get to the next level like Trevor here. Cool, so they got hit tracks, which you saw. They got Rapsodo playing baseballs, nets, cages. So if you're a player in the Virginia area, look them up, it's a pretty cool spot. Happy Saturday, finally got to sleep in a little bit. It is uh, noon. <laughs> So I slept in quite a bit. I'm gonna go get some food. Can I get that oatmeal and the omelet? Thank you. And then at 3.30, I'm leaving to go throw live at bats at a facility. So that'll be fun. Take you guys along for that. Okay, we are off to live ABs. We got about an hour drive. So Tim's gonna pick me up. Uh, I'm gonna drive about an hour. Got about an hour warm up and then throw. Yeah, I just need to get some, need to get some throwing in, some volume. Okay, where are we at? We're at uh, Athlete's Addiction. 
Trevor, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you brother. Thanks for having me. How you doing? So this place is massive. It's pretty cool. We got, uh, looks like some gymnastics stuff over here in the back. We got cages, we got like four cages, big kind of open area back here and some hidden cages over there. I'm assuming these are flags of, uh, are these flags of uh, people that train here that have gone to, yeah. gone to school and stuff? That's yeah. pretty sick. Love that. Some uh, more cages over here. Pretty sweet. Full on weight room over here. We got a little, uh, little area over here, warm up area. This place is sick. I'm gonna get my place to look more like this. Okay, so we got about an hour till first pitch. So I'm gonna get some foam rolling in, get some uh, warm up stuff in, and get some throwing in, and get these live at bats going. All right, pretty typical like one fastball, two curve. Unfortunate. I feel like a dick doing that, but I gotta do it. I cannot do it on that. <laughs> 